Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Holt Hanley. Well, we've got a decent amount of rainfall on the way, and we'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to point out what's probably the first thing you're noticing right now, and that's just how much warmer it is than it has been in previous nights. Some of our cities still in the low 60s, which is about 5 to even 10 degrees warmer than the last few days. And that's nice to see in our overnight lows that instead of being in those mid 30s with some of those frost advisories that we had, we'll just be in the nice mid 40s to around 50. So good to see that. Big part of the reason that we're warmer is we're having a lot of that cloud cover starting to move in. And we actually did pick up a few scattered showers over the Santa Cruz Mountains at one point. We'll still see a few of those showers overnight, but this is not the main storm that we're going to be talking about throughout this forecast. This is just this little front right here, brought some light rainfall to California. This one moving through late Sunday night is packing a bit more of a punch. Like if you compare it with that last storm that we had, this one almost looks like it has three times as much moisture. So that'll be good for our rainfall totals and all that snow building into the Sierra as well. That's probably the easiest way to see just how much precipitation we're going to be getting. Up to four feet of snow in some places, the lower elevations will be about one to two feet of snow, but still that's pretty decent totals right there. And then one thing I will say though is, while that's probably good news to a lot of skiers and snowboarders out there, we're going to be combining that snow with some 50 mile per hour winds. So that leads to almost zero visibility, very hazardous driving conditions. And not a big surprise, we've got that winter storm warning in place from 4 p.m. Sunday to 4 a.m. on Wednesday. Now when it comes to the central coast, tomorrow you can just expect mostly cloudy skies throughout most of the day, few scattered showers here and there, but it's really late tomorrow night that that big storm starts to come in. That's where we get the heavier rain. That's at about 11 p.m. right there. Great way to see that by 10 p.m., we've only picked up a few hundredths. And then as we go through Monday and Tuesday, this is what our forecast rain amounts look like, look like right here. A lot of our cities, even in the Salinas Valley, get half an inch. Some places in the Santa Cruz Mountains up to an inch and a half. So it's going to be great to see all this moisture move into California. It's really going to help out with that fire danger. Always, always good to see more moisture getting into our fuels. But again, tomorrow, mostly cloudy throughout the day, and then a lot of that heavier rain starts to build in later tomorrow night. So about 11 p.m. into 1 a.m. on Monday, and then it looks like it continues into Tuesday, and actually looks like we've got another shot at some rainfall on Friday. I also like to see those overnight lows at least the next two days back into the 40s.